Unity Studio is here, which is a newly launched, lightweight version of the Unity Editor. Formerly known as Unity Lite during its early beta, Unity Studio enables you to import 3D assets, build interactive scenes, and share them across devices without writing any code or have lots of experience using Unity. But is it really that big of a deal, and how you can take advantage of that? Here's the thing. Unity introduced this product to kind of have more access to 3D content creation beyond the traditional game developer audience. The idea is to give more freedom to designers, engineers, educators, and non-programmers to really create immersive 3D experiences. As you may know, lots of people use 3D, and the demand for 3D content has been growing in recent years. I mean, from architecture, manufacturing, marketing, and much more. But using a full game engine can be an overkill or too complex for these needs. So by offering a no-code, easy-to-use editor, Unity kinda helps, I would say, for lack of a better word, to democratize 3D and let people in different teams prototype and iterate on ideas more rapidly. When it comes to tools and features, the new Unity Studio Editor packs a variety of user-friendly features. Most notably, it introduces a visual scripting system, which replaces code with connected nodes. So you can create gameplay logic by snapping together blocks in a Scratch-like interface called the Logic System, instead of writing C-sharp scripts. This makes it possible for anyone to define object behaviors and interactions via drag-and-drop blocks. Unity Studio also brings asset compatibility, but what does that mean? Well, it can import over 70 different 3D file formats, including CAD models and other industry standard files, automatically converting them into real-time ready assets, which is cool. This is especially a big deal for industrial users, who might want to bring CAD and BIM data straight into Unity in an interactive scene. On the content side, Unity Studio provides easy tools for building user interfaces and simple animations. You can drag and drop UI elements, like buttons, text, etc. into your scene, and hook them up with the visual logic to create product configurators or training simulations without any coding. There's also a built-in timeline animation editor for basic cutscenes and object animation. You can create timeline sequences and trigger them with events, or have them autoplay or without needing any specialized animation skills. Just keep in mind, it is important to note that Unity Studio is not a full replacement of the standard Unity engine. It is just a significantly stripped-down tool with limited scope. In fact, Unity isn't targeting professional game developers with this. The studio lacks many advanced features that game developers take for granted. For example, Unity Studio currently supports only simple 3D scenes, and there is no multi-scene management and no support for complex animations, like skinned mesh animations. Its rendering and material system is kinda basic, only standard PBR materials are supported, with no custom shaders or fancy graphics tricks. Other missions include things like advanced physics, audio playback, and extensibility via plugins. Essentially, Unity Studio covers a small subset of Unity's full capabilities, focusing on ease of use. This means if you want to build a large and complex game or application with heavy scripting, you will eventually need to migrate to the full Unity editor. Unity Studio doesn't support writing C -sharp code or custom scripts, and it can only publish projects as web experiences. Unity themselves advise that experienced developers or those needing more sophisticated features should stick to the standard Unity editor, which offers the complete toolset and coding capabilities. So in other words, Unity Studio is good for quick and simple 3D projects, and the big guns of the Unity editor, with all the advanced features, come into play when you upgrade what the studio can do. Unity is very clear what the target audience of the Unity Studio is, because it is not the typical game developer or game programmer. Instead, it is built for people in roles like designers, artists, project managers, engineers, marketers, or anyone who needs 3D, in addition to other domain experts who want to create or work with 3D content but have little to no coding experience. Think of someone who might have 3D models or ideas and needs to turn them into an interactive demo or scene without needing a software developer or an experienced 3D artist. This is actually who Unity Studio is aimed at. 
Unity's messaging explicitly pitches studio at non-developers or less technical team members who want to leverage 3D visuals without learning complex game engine workflows. This tool can also be handy for students and educators in general, I mean to dip their toes into 3D creation software. And interestingly enough, although Unity built it with industry and enterprise users in mind, some in the community have pointed out that Unity Studio could be an excellent beginner's learning tool for aspiring game developers as well, which I think is a great idea. Because it is so simplified, a newbie can learn the basics of 3D scenes in addition to logic in Studio, then later graduate to the full Unity game engine with a better grasp of the fundamentals. And in my opinion, also in my experience, lots of beginners when it comes to game development and 3D in general come with a lot of excitement. Then they kinda hit the wall because things seem hard and they don't make as much progress as quickly as they thought, so they quickly give up. But I think Unity Studio is gonna be a good gateway to keep things simple and easy, to give them the ability to stick longer and achieve more. On the other hand, while seasoned Unity veterans might not use Studio for their main projects, it opens a door for a whole set of new creators and I think it will bring a new audience to Unity, maybe even future developers. And this allows them to get comfortable with Interactive 3D. The launch of Unity Studio has generated quite a buzz in the development community, generally leaning positive. Some longtime Unity users have even called it the coolest thing Unity has created in years, which is actually a high praise, considering Unity's two-decade history. Many see it as a smart move for Unity, expanding their reach beyond just, you know, core game developers and going into industries that could benefit from the interactive 3D, which opens the door for many possibilities. But honestly, the truth is, Unity has been going in this direction for many years now, because for the last five years or so, it has been targeting architects, designers, automotive designers, manufacturers, and many areas, and even VFX, in addition to other areas. But now here's the thing. Some veteran developers have questioned whether Unity diverting resources to a non-code tool could distract from improving the main engine. But Unity's team has actually addressed this, by explaining that the dedicated industry engineering team is working on Unity Studio and that this effort is a growing part of Unity's business, which is not taken away from the resources of the development of the game engine. I think these concerns are kind of valid. Just take a look at what Epic Game is doing with the Unreal Engine. Every few releases, we are seeing amazing tools and features being added, and they are constantly improving and adding cool stuff. If you look at that as a Unity user, you can't help it but compare the direction of the two game engines. Don't get me wrong though, Unity is doing its job to a certain extent, but with the recent stunts that Unity pulled that everyone can remember and the disasters that came out of it, which is always in the minds of most Unity users. So far from what we have seen with Unreal Engine, Epic is also expanding its territory to ArcVis and VFX especially. In fact, it is becoming a major player in those two fields, without taking away from the game development audiences. And hopefully the same goes for Unity. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more news like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.